Welcome back to the shop. Uh, channel just rolled over a million views. <laughs> That's a lot for me. Just somebody tinkering around in a shop. Uh, I guess a sign of having a few views are uh, I got contacted the other day by a company, Centus, uh, Centus Marketing. And uh, Edgar over there wanted me to look at a 16 uh, in 1 precision screwdriver kit. Tell him, sure, I'd be glad to do an honest review. I'm, everything I review is something I bought. <laughs> you know, it's not really in a sponsored deal uh, yet. I'm not saying I certainly won't turn anything down, but he did send me a nice precision screwdriver kit. Uh, and I got to tell you, I'm really quite impressed. Uh, the packaging, uh, the case, uh, very nicely packed and... Uh, I love this little flip-out case. Most little bits come in a, a plastic holder that's so damn hard you can't put them in and they all end up in a bucket uh, bottom of a bin somewhere and never can keep track of them. But these are very nicely labeled. They'll go in and out of the case. I really like the little uh, flip-out holder. So uh, we'll go have a look. And uh, these are for sale on Amazon. Actually, I don't know how they can do it. This is $15. Actually, $14.99 on Amazon. And, of course, I'll put the link in there. And uh, also, something I just discovered, uh, you know, with a million views, 4,000 subscribers, it doesn't pay a lot of money. But I just discovered being an Amazon affiliate. So if you want to help the channel, click on any of my videos and somewhere in there at the in the more section underneath the video there'll be an Amazon link if you want to do any shopping at Amazon use that link and I'll get a few pennies for it uh, but at any rate this is my first review of uh, actually somebody that actually sent me something for nothing to review so we'll go over to the desk have a look at it take something apart and just see what these things are made of here we go All right, I'll give you a, a really close-up look at the bit selection in here. Again, these things are extremely tiny. Uh, let's see where we're at here. This will give you an idea of what what comes in the kit. This is an extreme macro view. Each bit is stamped with its size on there. It does have the security bits in there. If you're taking part of phone, usually it has some sort of at least one or two security screws keep you from buggering it up. A well done kit. Every shop needs one. And for 15 bucks you can't go wrong. All right, so we're over here at the workbench, and uh, these uh, bits range from T2 all the way to, to 1.5. Uh, there's just a whole variety of bits in here. Let's look at the handle. <clears throat> Handle's aluminum, nice free spinning. Okay, so you can, it's got a chuck. You can change that out, and it's actually got a flexible bit that you can put in here. So you can actually turn that, or I guess you could hook that up to a drill as well. Uh, spin the bits with a drill. However you wanted to do that. Let's see how well it actually works. They are magnetic as well, so let's see. 
This is a, a T, T7, which is what you'd usually use for uh, a hard disk drive. Just to give you some perspective how big this disk is. So I've got this, uh, this little SD card for perspective, give you an idea how big this thing is. But these bits I actually need some intense readers to even see these tiny screws. Go to macro mode here and see an idea of just how big these screws are. Focus, you sucker. Now these things are tiny. Alright, well at any rate, it does handle very nice. Let's back out here. It handles, got a nice smooth feel to it. screws in this hard drive. And there you go. That's a T7 bit. Let's see if he was working on a phone. It's also got the security screwdrivers as well. Let's see. The right one, but it does make getting the bits in there much easier. Here it is. I'm sure this is it. Still not the right one. There we go. Tell you what, the screws don't get much smaller than that. And let's see, I think we're back to a T7 here. Once again, we're taking these phones apart. It's not a, a bit assortment you would have normally in the shop, so this really pays off. All right, I've had this part out of some type of a, a 3D printer or some port. Uh, I couldn't even take it apart because I didn't have any screwdrivers small enough to get into this thing. But with this precision set here, let's see what I can do. I've already been this far underneath it. Uh, there's some type of very, very small screws under the bottom of it. Let's see if I can find which bit will work with those. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't actually get it off. Size up from that. Let's try 1.5. Yep, that appears to be it. Again, I, I don't even know what this this critter is. It was in a lot of stuff that I'd uh, acquired. But it is some type of a printer. It's got some type of electric valve that operates it. But again, I, I didn't even fool with it because I didn't have any screwdriver bits that would be that small. 
At any rate, here we go. All right, folks, so there you have it. Uh, 60 and one uh, precision screwdriver bit kit, uh, 15 bucks at Amazon. Tells you, uh, it's kit number 6100. Tells you which bits are in there, security bits, whatnot. Overall, uh, certainly well worth it. I don't think you can go wrong for 15 bucks. I will put the link in the doodly doo below the video. And uh, see you next time. Here's Zeke. Come on. Bring it here. Come on. What the heck have you got? Give me that. You got the mail for me? Give it here. Give it here. Zeke. Come on. Let me have it. Let's see what you got. Well, come on. Bring it in the shop. Come on. Come on. Come on. What you got? Let's have a look. Let's see what you got. Heal the package. Heal. Might be something important. I got it. I got it. Thank you.